So this is where it all began. This is where this is where you know the sad story began about one of my best friends, Reggie Cunningham, and Billy Bragg. Just just in there. So my best friend Reggie Cunningham, he went to school with Billy Bragg, this school behind me. And Reggie told me what happened to him on sports day in the 100 meters dash, when him and Billy Bragg were lined up, on your marks, get set, go. And on the whistle of the sports teacher, Billy elbowed Reggie in the ribs causing him to fall over, lose his breath, crack a rib. Had to be helped off by the school nurse in tears while Billy went on to win. And the pain that Reggie felt, you know, resonates with me. And when I see Billy Bragg nowadays, sort of on Radio 4 and Newsnight and BBC Two and The Guardian and Newsweek and Time magazine and The Economist sort of giving his views about sort of race and politics and class and feminism and equality and inequality and gender politics, sexuality, etc. It sort of just makes me sick because I think all his political views have their roots in inequality, in unfairness, in cruelty, in that fatal or near fatal elbow to the ribs that he gave my friend Reggie Cunningham. And I just thought I'd share this story with you to let you know, you know, that what we perceive as justice and what we perceive as someone's cry for change is actually rooted in quite the opposite, in brutality, bullying and unfairness and personal prejudice. The influence that that had on both their careers is something that maybe only I know and they know themselves of course but it's something that will I think live with them and certainly lives with me since I heard about it and to this present day sad Love.